going on, everybody? It's your boy SB is the truckster, and welcome back to another dance hall video tutorial. Now, when we are mixing a rhythm, I will do some partial organizing to see them way. Um, I mix the one a little bit different in that I you know, drop all of the feed as them and then bring them up one by one. I kind of just get a, a rough mix and then get that the rough mix then to a final polished mix. You understand what I say? We explain more as we go along if you don't understand what I go on. So, I'll we'll give you a first like a preview of everything what I go on and then we'll all jump in it fully. get everything linked up to the to the piano roll and and all of that first so i just play it at a lower volume while me um organ, organize up everything and um uh, get them on the mix and track them it's bees the track star <laughs> you know what I mean? Say, so here it sounds like a, a big bunch of folk, you know what I mean? So, let me say, so we we'll get a, a quick rough mix and then we'll do, um, do all that way with panning and all of that. So, we'll drop everything down to the, to the ground, but we'll do, let me say, we'll do a rough mix. Normal mode. When my mix mode, I just bring them up, EQ it, bring in another channel, EQ it, bring in another channel, EQ it, and so on and so on. But when I do it that way, I like say, well, bring up all of the feed of them, do the panning, what we need for the one and all of that, before we even start process any of the sound. So we have the, the chorus loop out right now. What we do do is more bring in um, a meat and see if we have a good one that we can use. Uh, or we'll use the LN, um, LM6N normal from TC Electronics. And this meter, that's the problem I'm have with the meter, yeah. For whatever reason, it increased the volume of my track, and um, I don't know how to make it do that, you know what I mean? So, can I even use this blood clam meter, yeah. I, mean, I understand why it always um, increased my volume, but um, that's not really nothing what I can kind of try to figure out right now, you know what I mean? So, we see um, if we can find something else for use. So, let's go back um let's get uh, i go uh, i'll use some from waves um what if i use the isotope insight version too on oh, my light body system can then you know, resize it make it smaller so we only need the loudness we need the the image in the sound field the polarity and we need um the, the average loudness. So when we don't mix, more well, might think I average out around minus six dB or so. So we don't use the, the levels meter down here. So but up at the top part, more to average around minus sixteen, minus eighteen LUFS. You know what I mean? So let's um detach this. Uh, find a nice part of the screen feet. Uh, and then we can get to work, you know what I mean? So let's get into it. If we loop out the course.
cool. So the main part of the track, as you can see, the meter you kind of in a way a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm make this smaller. So I can get this thing here to own a you know, little spot. So the main part of the, the track is this brass. And then we have a, a double light with this piano. So how do the brass is well, try and get it to be as wide as we can possibly get it. Need for small up the mixer so it not interfere with what I go on. So let's bring in a reverb. Well, right click and we'll uh, go up on this preset big reverb. And then we'll uh, right click right next to it and we'll uh, rename this. I'll we'll call it reverb still. But we'll put plate. I'll we'll use two different verbiage so the first one the lustrous plates right there so we'll keep the width all the way up to down the pre delay left the modulation alone make sure set the hundred percent width we'll put the reverb time damper up a little bit frequency dispersion up a little bit too we'll put it upon well it already upon the rhodium plate so that's cool um and we'll take the the brass now and let me say, or let me preach, I know, you never EQ anything by itself, you know what I mean? Don't EQ nothing by itself. But in a this a case, as this are the first instrument or the main instrument of the track, it's fine if you do that because everything else don't get built around it, you understand what I say? So that's what I go forward this. So don't EQ this and get it for get for sound as big as we can possibly get it with just the reverb and the EQing. a little bit of the verb and see. Without the reverb, with it, So it just kind of open up like that. Like that a lot. Damn. Put this back. All right. So that's the main melody. We have this piano here we play a duplicate of the main melody. So what I'm do is we all send the piano to two different tracks. We all hard pun them. One left, one right. Lock them. Rename both of them. Yeah, no. I'll put left for the one. Uh, let's change the color to this blue. And then the second one with a rename it out, I'll put um right. Cool. Alright, so if we play that now. So we'll use the same EQ for the boat. So instead of put them pan, put the EQ on the individual channel them, we we'll just put it on the main channel. I got waves. And we we'll use the Money Mara Queen EQ. You don't know the preset may I go for already. This thing called piano presence right there. So just bring forward the piano. So now we can bring the piano volume here to maximum and then use this as the actual volume control. Alright, so the level's kind of hot, so we'll all bring that down. That's fine. And if we need more EQ, you know, we can still go in and tweak. So uh, do I look a bit more of a filter?
I forgot in at the actual channel. Let's let's take a, a look and see. All right, so all right, so we have some hot levels in at the track itself. That's much better, much much better. Or oh, do the same thing over here, so. Yeah, so that fixed the problem. Cool. So now we can probably bring up the levels upon the a little bit more. Get that a little bit of the reverb too. So I'm gonna like how this 808 here kind of wobble away. Definitely not like that. So increase the out. Trim it. Alright, cool. Let's so roll the EQ to the 808 side chain it. Bring in the fab filter pro C so we can actually side chain it. Alright. Let's get that set up. I'm going to kill it too much while about eight. near on the club. Send the club to the reverb a little bit. much but just high pass everything can go wrong. cool So here we have this little roll right at the end. I mean, I want to keep it around the same level there. I'll add a little bit of reverb to it. Um, so let's go in with an EQ, stock EQ. Do a little bit of clean up. Right click. Not even right click. We'll just go do the same type of processing, same filter I'm just use. Turn on high quality, turn it off. 
All right, cool. So we'll just kind of clean up the low end a little bit while I put this in a manner. Cool. I would just want it did it when I want it too noticeable, but I want it um, noticeable enough so you know there's something I play, but not really that I can pick it out. Something where you probably have like a listen again and say, oh, okay, that did it. All right, cool. Let's bring in the first half. And yes, I will without really start kind of spread out things. So let's go back to the stock EQ again. I probably use the stock EQ mostly for that tracker. You know what I mean, it's not wrong with it. It's one of my favorite EQ personally. But um, certain things I'm like doing at the fab filter, I can't do in this, but I don't feel like I don't need that. Let's get this bigger, let's add some verb. Alright, and then let's add some type of widening. So let's go polyverse and let's spread this out. Without it. With it. Now you just take the sound to another level, you understand what I'm saying? So let's bring back in the rest of the instruments. You can hear it. So when we turn it off, you'll hear it gone. For this track, without bringing a track called Top End Ear, I want to use that to make this string a lot brighter. Just by sending it. You know what I mean? So let's kind of clean up the strings first. So let's go here. So firstly, we don't really need too much of the bass. Take a bit more of the Top End. Steer shaper, right click, delay. And then man, I EQ the string feeds sound good with everything else. Man, EQ it feeds sound good by itself. And then the stereo shaper out now if you make it wide, just like we just do with it up, and then the reverb if you complement that. Or put on a reverb in the track. So let's bring back in the, the up. By itself nice now we can send it to the top end here EQ again. Let's go. Same type of treatment.
I like the main part. This a really drive the melody away. So I have kind of be careful with that one. So the first thing we want to do with this is we'll EQ it, then we'll compress it. Then we'll, you know, actually, we'll want compress it, EQ it, then compress it right after. So we'll kind of sandwich it up. Um, so the compressor I want to use is the, um, uh, what do you name here? Uh, I want to use some analog. So I'll go with waves. I'll use the LA76. So that's the compressor. I'm going to put the EQ in between. I'll use the stock EQ. I'm going to explain kind of what I go on once I have everything lined up. So let's load up another Waves EQ compressor. And then this time I'm going to use the R compressor just to kind of get a, a different flavor. So let's get rid of the mixer. All right, so what I'm going to aim for though. For the first compressor, I look forget about... Um, 2 dB a gain reduction. So we don't put the attack as fast as possible. We don't put the release halfway or in the middle, you know what I mean? Not too fast, not too slow. All right, so I already get my gain reduction. That's perfect. So that's the first stage. What we don't do with the EQ is this is a bell. Bell have really, really resonant frequency. If you look on the EQ, you do see some bright pink line. You know what I mean? Then they are just some frequency that really resonate more than others. So we don't use the EQ now in a, a sweep filter, um, a high pass, low pass with a sweep filter kind of combination to get rid of all of them. So we don't switch this to 40 hertz, 18 hertz cut. Or, um, 40 hertz to 18 thousand kilohertz cut so we don't do that we don't turn on all of the other band them or we'll use them as bell so now if we go through and bring that back up let's so we have the first one right here so if we do that bring that down we have another one right here I mean, so get rid of that too. If we take them, yeah. Yes, right. So, bring that back. We'll listen to it before and after. This is before we do the EQ and point it. And this is after. It's just much more under control, you understand? So upon the last compressor, we'll go minus 20 for the threshold. We'll go 2 to 1 for the ratio. And we'll just look for about 3 dB again reduction. But I'll left the attack and the release exactly where there's no need to change it. All right, now we'll use the gain for bring back about 2 dB. We don't really want to bring back all of the volume. Um, I'm good with it. If we need more, we can just turn up the, the volume on the fader. So without all of the processing, with it 
Now it even get louder. So let's bring back in the rest of the tracks. So this line up with the drum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the drum for side chain this too. I'm going to put the compressor upon that track at the same way. So now, if we pre well go on, if we bring in the 808, bring up the compressor for that. Line them up. We have the drummer feed both of them. So if we go here, so processing, right click, kick. But you notice how it kind of killed that sound over here so completely. So without slowly adding with we level. We just want it to sit on and eat, you know, we don't really want it a front of itself, you understand? Turn it off. Yeah, so now without going without EQ, I would do a straight, straight filter. So stock EQ again, I would filter out everything. So what really I do is just it it I get the kick uh a colour, you know what I mean? It I uh, kinda and I dirty up the kick a little bit if you solo it out. That's with it. I turn off the piano. So that I with it, without it. You know what I mean? So it just kinda add a little bit of colour to the kick in a different way, you know what I mean? Normally would I use like some distortion or some saturation or just a use a, a sample in a this case yeah, you know what I mean um, so let's go back in all right so we have another app same kind of treatment let's go stock plugin right click 4018 and we'll get rid of Don't you really make nothing wider with this? We have this on here. All right, so let's go and get Pan Man. What we're doing with this is just so kind of spread it out a little bit. So I'll go panning basic pendulum with maximum smooth, slow it down a little bit. Let's play.
cool. So lastly, we have uh, some hi hats. So let's bring those in. I've three of them. I would treat all of them the same way. So what I would do is I would just route all of them to one single truck. I would call that I had dogs. All right, so whatever the volume going in, don't matter. But the volume coming out does matter. So without bringing the L2, I'll put this to minus 6. I'll set the threshold to minus 8. Release attack really fast. And we'll use this for volume. So anything that come out of this track, I do minus um, 6. We'll also bring in the bro motion. So let's bring that up. Bro motion stereo. If we play the hi hat now, All right, so let's come out of the, the hook a little bit and go back into the verse a little bit. I'll bring in the other couple of patterns. So lastly, let's bring in a preset from producer tag. And then we have this delay preset I'm going to use to it as well. All right? So if we send the producer tag to here, like, well, whenever I use the plate, I'm 
we could be through here should have it's still on the reverb we don't really need that much Yeah, man, and that should be it, you know what I mean? Let me see where I get a good mix on everything. Um, what I probably do add um, after the video, so when I hear the rhythm, you don't hear a whole bunch of effects and transitions in it. When I really want the video stretch past 40 minutes, and I think we're right around that time. So we don't add a bunch of effects and transitions and all of that. But the basic mix of the rhythm is done. The only thing I have to do is the master bus processing, but that's very, very simple. Compressor EQ on a tape machine. So, um... Until next time, Mr. Boys B is the track star. I'll play through it one last time. Peace.